Hello everyone, I'm Salman. Hi everyone, my name is Chris and we're an applications engineer at ST Microelectronics and we support MEM sensor products. Welcome to this four part technical video series where we explore together ST's new infrared sensor. Um, and we'll take a look at this infrared sensor and uh, we'll walk through together how we can start your evaluation and development process of human presence and motion detection application. And this first part of the technical video series, we'll do a deep dive of the technology overview of the infrared sensor. So let's get started. ST's IR sensor is based on TMOS technology that stands for Thermal Metal Oxide Semiconductor, which is fabricated in standard SOI, CMOS, and MEMS processing technologies to achieve high performance and flexibility, all in small package form factor. Its part number is STHS34PF80. Every object emits some level of thermal radiation corresponding to its temperature. STHS-34PF80 IR sensor detects net radiation emitted by a body in far infrared wavelengths according to the black body emission Planck's law and leverages this effect in a non-intrusive way to enable presence and motion detection of a human. As you can see, the sensor is constructed by a sensing element and an ASIC for signal conditioning packaged together in a single chip with an integrated silicon IR filter transparent in 5 to 20 micrometer wavelengths. The sensor is split into two parts, one exposed to IR radiation and the other being shielded. Differential reading between the two parts is implemented to remove the effect of sensor self-heating, therefore achieving a high accuracy output and the sensing elements are connected together to act as a single pixel sensing element. A state-of-the-art thermal isolation is achieved thanks to ST's unique MEMS manufacturing technologies allowing the sensor to translate the smallest temperature changes into electrical signals that are sent into the ASIC for further digital processing. Additionally, the key feature of the sensor is the simplicity of a single compact SMD packaging with digital interface allowing for ease of integration and compact form factor. On top of this, the sensor runs presence, motion, and ambient shock algorithms embedded directly inside the sensor, allowing for the ultra low power consumption. What are some application use cases which can benefit from this sensor? For example, smart home automation devices such as HVAC, lighting, and thermostat can leverage this technology to enable system activation only when the person is present. Other application use cases such as occupancy monitoring, asset tracking, access controls, security systems, and many other use cases that require detection of human presence or motion can be considered. Let's now observe the sensor's electrical specifications. The IR sensor takes supply voltage from 1.7 to 3.6 volts and runs on very low current of 10 micrograms at one hertz sampling rate. And the sensor is quite sensitive and accurate, achieving object temperature sensitivity of 2000 LSB per degree centigrade and ambient temperature accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.3 degrees C at negative 10 to 60 degrees C. It has a digital interface for I2C and 3-wire SBI for simple integration and bring up. Lastly, the sensor can enable presence and motion detection up to 4 meter without any optical lens and has a sensor field of view of 80 degrees. Let's take a closer look into the sensor architecture. The sensor reads out the object temperature in this field of view as well as the temperature of the sensor package called the ambient temperature. These sensor signals are processed and fed into as input to the presence, motion, and T-ambient shock detection algorithms. All three of these algorithms are digitally configurable in threshold and cutoff frequency to adjust according to your application requirements. And it has a possibility to route the output of the embedded algorithm flags to the hardware intro pin. This allows for continuous monitoring of human presence or movement without the intervention of the host microcontroller, allowing for ultra low power detection. Let's now compare the traditional motion sensing technology called PIR and ST sensing technology of TMOS. First, PIR sensor only detects motion of a human body, while the TMOS IR sensor is capable to detect both motion and presence of a human. Let's observe this graph depiction on the right and imagine that you're in the office working at your desk and your lights have a PIR sensor to monitor the environment. Without any significant motion, the lights will eventually turn off after a few minutes and you need to intentionally move or wave your arm in order for the lights to turn back on again. In this same scenario, by using the TMOS sensor, 
It allows you to not only detect the motion of a human body, but also the presence of a human even in scenarios which a person is not moving, therefore removing the need to move in order to keep the lights on. Additionally, the TMOS sensor has a small form factor of roughly 3 by 4 millimeter LGA surface mount packaging, allowing for easier assembly process. Also, the PR sensor requires a Fresnel lens for it to function, while the TMOS IR sensor requires no Fresnel lens up to 4 meter of detection. Lastly, the TMOS IR sensor requires no discrete circuits. With a simple digital interface and dedicated embedded algorithms with interrupt capabilities, while the majority of the PR sensors require multiple discrete components with the analog output. In this next video series, we will explore how we can quickly get started to evaluate the TMOS technology with ST's development kit and software GUI. Thank you.